It hasn't rained, but it's a pretty cloudy day today, but it's okay because I have some small projects I need to get done. Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. I haven't filmed in several days. I've just been really busy with the house and trying to get it cleaned up. So I do have some um, more news on my house, but I'll share that with you later. Um, right now I'm going to show you some stuff that I got shipped or uh, gifts that I got. There was just two of them. When I already got to the house, I just haven't had a moment to film them. And the first gift is from George. So George sent me a Swiss Army knife. It's just a small one that you can put on your um, keychain. Let's look at it. <laughs> and it does have my name on it, Aja. That's really nice. I appreciate that. It's got some clippers. And also... Um, I believe two knives. Let's see. Yeah, there's one knife. Oh, yep. Yeah. There is the second knife. And it also has some stuff on the back side. Scissors. <laughs> that's really neat. I like that. So I believe that's it. I'll have to look at it further. I believe it's just the clippers. The uh, knives and then the scissors. And I'm just going to put that on my keychain. Thank you, George. That's awesome. This next gift is from Melanie and she included a note with it. It says, Dear Aja and Mumu, just a quick note to say a heartfelt thank you for your videos. And she added a little heart sticker. <laughs> That's so cute. When I saw this pin, I just had to get it for you. Take care and please give Mumu a big hug and kiss from me. Lots of love, Melanie. Lamb Chops. XOXO. Well, thank you, Melanie. And I will give Mumu a big old hug. Let's see. So, this is the pin. What is that? Oh, it says Awesome Sauce. <laughs> That is too cute. I love that. Let's see. Oh, I think I need to wear that. Oh, can you see it? Awesome sauce. Well, um, I guess this shirt isn't really made for pins because it kind of just blends in. It's hard to see. I'll wear it with a different shirt. But that is the awesome sauce. So I just want to say thanks again, George and Melanie. I love both items. The first projects I want to get done are some more solar lights. I bought some replacements for the ones that I have. I am going to put them on this side and not the other side because, like I said, hardly any sun gets over on that side. So I bought two replacements. And then I also have some smaller solar lights, and I purchased these from Walmart. And these I'm going to put at the base right here just to get some light down on the ground I bought about four of these I thought these would be really neat I always seem to have some difficulty with my porch light so I had installed one when I was back at my aunt's house I like the size and how big and bright it is but the way you hook it up it just sometimes it just doesn't work properly so I'm probably going to disconnect that put another um, just a regular small light up there and I also bought these solar lights that I'm going to put next to it these are really cool here's one out of the box and it has push buttons so you most of the um, solar that I'm buying now I want to be able to cut on and off because I don't want them on all the time except these lower ones that um, run along the uh, lower part of Panda, those I can't cut on and off, but these I can, and they're pretty neat. They all also glow here, and there's lights behind here because they do that. And these were $15 at Home Depot. Here are the smaller ones that I bought, and this is uh, where I want to place them here low. I have about four spots over here, 
I think that'll look really good. Let's see. Oh, actually, these you can cut on and off. Awesome. Like I said, I don't always like them to be on. It is a nice option to be able to cut them off. And also, at times when I don't need them, I can save the battery. That is so cool. Yay! <laughs> I think all solar lights sh should be able to be cut on and off. Not all are like that, though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install it. I do have a cleat right here that I have to remove. I don't ever use this one anymore, so... Oops. Oh, need to put the larger tip on that. And I'm just going to place it right there. I think that'll look good. It'll also light up right by my door. I'm not sure about you, but installing things like this always was a problem for me uh, until I learned a trick. So what you do is just trace out the outer edge and then go from the back and you can poke holes in just like that. See where this other one is. Then now I'm just going to trace this. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can use any piece of paper. And now I know exactly where to put my holes. I'm going to use the drill and pre-drill the holes first. It's about where I want it. Right. Yay, one light down and three more to go. I'm just using the same template for all of the lights. I think that looks really good. Just add a little light and I'll take this off and there we go. When I was tightening down the screws, I made sure that they were on good and couldn't slip up because I know with going down the road and vibrating, you know, you'd be worried they'd just pop off the screws. But since there's this ledge there, I had to pop it in so it's, it's not going anywhere. In a previous video, I had one installed here, but it went out on me. So I'm going to take this one, which is almost exactly like it. Um, I wanted to go with a different brand because those ones um, went out on me after a couple months. So hopefully I won't have the problem with this one. And this one does have an on and off switch as well. Unfortunately, it's located in an awkward place place so I'll, I would have to unscrew it I could always velcro these on but I just don't trust the velcro if I'm gonna screw it on I just might as well go ahead and get that done and um, 
I guess, yeah, if I really want to cut them off, I can just unscrew it. The screw is not that big, so. I just noticed that it does come with 3M tape, but I'm not going to use this because I want to be able to take it on and off. This would be a more permanent solution, and I like this better. Install time. I think that looks perfect. It is motion detection. It is dim and then when something walks by or goes by, it brightens up. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Oh, if I can. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. Oh, that wasn't the easiest thing. There we go. And the last one I installed right in the middle. Oh. Stickers they put on here are the easiest things to peel off. There we go. So that means I'll have the running board lights, one on the rear here, one in the middle, and the two right there above the door. Since this one has a button, I'm going to go ahead and permanently install this. I don't need to take it on and off. There's a screw up here, another screw here, but I'm going to use the 3M tape on the bottom. This one didn't come with the 3M tape. I'm using the 3M tape from the other light. And I cut it in half. It's alive! I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I do like it when the light is really bright. So I am going to install a secondary one on this side of the porch light. Oh, they're already coming on. That looks good. Yeah, I really like that. See? And it brightens up once you come in front of it. These stay the same brightness. They don't dim or get brighter. Just a little faint light that you see. It does cast a good light, all of them here. And the last one. Oh, yep, it worked. <laughs> all right, the last ones are installed. And they're pretty bright, too. Oh, that's nice, Aj. Yeah, I put the two above the door, and then I put these running lights, and then the ones that turn on. These even get brighter when you get closer. Yeah, yeah and then I have right. one on the rear, right there. Oh, awesome. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that way it just, I mean, because I, when you pull up to a dark campsite, it sucks when you don't have any light and have to fumble for a flashlight. No, oh, that's super. Yeah, I like it. I like the brightness. Yeah. So, Terry is going to order a pizza. It is pizza night. I could go for a slice of pizza. Yeah, sounds good to me. It does. I needed a break from the house stuff, so I'm here at the club because they have karaoke tonight. It's not a super busy night. It's Sunday, but it's a relief from all the stress of having to clean the house and stuff. Let's go inside. Oh, 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 oh,